friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn about the importance of plants, their main characteristics and also the classification. Presenting the plant kingdom. You already know that plants can't move from one place to another. As you can see, the great majority are held to the ground by roots. But they fulfill the vital functions of all living things. They are born. They grow. They interact. Reproduce. And die. As you can see in these images, there are many types of plants. But, do you know how many types there are? Well, according to scientists, there are approximately 9 million different species. Some are gigantic like this tree, capable of producing shade for 100 people at the same time. Others are tiny, like this minuscule flower. But although they may be different, they all have something in common. They are capable of making their own food. Plants don't feed off other living creatures like animals do. But they make their own food thanks to photosynthesis, process that transforms sunlight and inorganic matter in their surrounding into food. Photosynthesis is super important for plants, but for all living things too, because in that process they release oxygen into the world. And without oxygen, none of us would be here today watching this video. Are plants important or what? Plants were one of the first forms of life that appeared on Earth thanks to their capacity not to depend on other living creatures to survive. Their most predominant colour is green. And this colour is called chlorophyll, an essential substance to perform photosynthesis. Plant classification. As we said, there are many types of plants and we can classify them in four large groups to get to know them better. Algae, mosses, ferns and phenogams. Algae don't have roots, stems or leaves. They live in water, both rivers and seas, and they are the simplest plants. Mosses are also very simple plants. They live on solid ground but need a lot of humidity. They don't have roots to absorb water because they live in very humid and bleak places. Ferns are higher plants and their body is divided into roots, which is where they absorb water from the soil, stem, which is where the water circulates and leaves that grow upwards from the stem. Ferns also live in humid places. Phanerogams, despite their name, are the most common plants because they reproduce through their flowers. They are higher plants and their bodies are divided into roots, stem and leaves. Trees are an example that belongs to this group. Well, now we know a bit more about plants and their importance towards all other living things. So you know that we need to take care of them and respect them. Goodbye friends and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV.